Welcome to the first episode of Randomness with Baseball Reference. My name is Justin, and I run the YouTube channel Baseball is Dying. It's still a relatively new channel, and I'm still getting my feet wet, but you can check out my irrelevant baseball stats that mean something serious and a few videos about the Milwaukee Brewers, my hometown team. This series, Randomness with Baseball Reference, is going to be me going to a random page on Baseball Reference and finding something interesting to talk about, all in real time. That's the key. Baseball Reference has a randomizer that you can utilize in the search box, and it will take you to a random page on their website. That page could be a player, a box score, or even a team from the past, among other things. I won't know in advance what I'm going to be looking at. The point is to do this in real time and get a real reaction. This is an experiment, and I hope I'm able to make it interesting. I'm a guy who loves random stats, so I hope I can come through, and I hope it's interesting for you too. So, here we go. All right, here we go. The first episode of Randomness with Baseball Reference. So to start, all we're going to do is go up to the search bar and type in random. Now, this will take me to a random page on Baseball Reference. I have no idea what it's going to be. It could be Troy Tulowitzki's page. It could be 1923 pitching stats from the Yankees. Like, I have no idea. So I'm going to react to it live. And we're going to find something fun because I love random stats. I love irrelevant stats. Like, this is going to be fun. And I hope we learn something together. And I hope you think stats are fun, too. And that's why you're here. So let's click and let's see where it takes us. Ooh, a box score from 2009 and relatively uh, recent game. We got the tw Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim, which is the most ridiculous name I've ever heard. It's literally saying the Angels, Angels of Anaheim. Like, what are we thinking? And then we got the Twins. Now, the Angels were good that year, 61 and 40, and they crushed the Twins 11 to 5. Was, uh, 19 hits, 10 hits. Yeah, you if you score 11 runs and get 19 hits, you're not going to lose many games. That was a three-and-a-half-hour game. Well, no kidding. I mean, there's 29 hits and 16 runs. Uh, let's look at the Angels' batting order. We got uh, Sean Figgins. Man, he was fun to play with in, like, MLB The Show and MVP Baseball. He was fun. Bobby Abreu. Wow, look at this. Look at the top four players in the lineup. Three hits, two hits, three hits, three hits. And we got Mike Napoli coming with four hits. Huh. Wow, they just killed it. Uh, Gary Matthews. Now, that's a throwback. Reggie Willits, you know, he doesn't have a home run in his career. He's never hit a home run. Look at that. Zero home runs and 844 at-bats. I don't know how I know that. I just do. But I think that's incredible. Plus, he was a little bit underrated, though, I think. I mean, he was great, great rookie year. I mean, he batted 293, 391 OBP, and then he kind of went down batting average. But his OBPs were still somewhat okay, especially in 2010. I mean, then he got off to a horrible start in 2011, batted 45 and I think he deserved to stick around a little bit but without any power I mean you weren't going to be that, that valuable I mean 0.1 war and 844 at bats not going to get the job done anyway let's go back to the game let's look at the twins now Denard Span, Joe Maurer the only one doing anything for the twins that day three for four three RBI Michael Goodyear had two hits but other than that nothing oh Brendan Harris man Soft hitting shortstop. I remember him. Okay, who we got? Who we got? It's Irvin Santana starting for the Angels, and he didn't even do that well. Five runs and in six innings, six strikeouts, gave up one bomb. I'm guessing the Joe Maurer. Not sure though. We'll look at that later. Nick Blackburn lasted 6.2 innings, 12 hits. Oh, Nick Blackburn. I remember him. I used to play with him. That would be the show against my friend who was a big Twins fan. All right, look at this. All right, Dickey coming out of the pen. One inning, one hit, two strikeouts. Huh. All right, Dickie, the knuckleball guy, knuckleball guy who's on the Hall of Fame ballot this year. I don't think he's going to get any votes, but hey, he won the Cy Young. Let's see what happened in this game. Wow, they started it off quick. Bobby Abreu, Juan Rivera, all RBIs. Let's see the home runs. There we go. Joe Maurer, home run off of Irvin Santana. And then we got a triple from Nick Punto. <laughs> Nick Punto. Bernard Span doubled. What else do we got? We got another home run by Bobby Abreu. Okay, Bobby Abreu needs to be in the Hall of Fame. Do you know he's 20th all-time in walks? Like, look it up. 20th all-time. I think that alone should get him in the Hall of Fame. He just never made noise and wasn't flashy, and that's why he's getting no traction. But he deserves the Hall of Fame. And I hope one day he gets there. And then Mike Napoli. Man, that guy could hit. He had so much power from the catching position. Yeah, and then we got a lot of singles in the top of the 11th inning. Oh, I didn't even realize it went to extras. That's Let's go back. Let's go back to the score. 
Oh, yeah, because they scored six runs in the 11th inning. So it was five to five after 10 innings, and then they just went nuts. Yeah, that makes sense. That's why the pitchers didn't do awful, or the starting pitchers didn't do awful. Yeah, but the bottom length inning, and then the Twins just went one, two, three against Darren Oliver. Huh, Carlos Gomez. He was never really good with the Twins, but he was pretty good with the Brewers. That was a good trade for the Brewers. J.J. Hardy for Carlos Gomez. Yeah. Let's see who pitched out of the bullpen besides Dickey. Jesse Crane. I remember Jesse Crane. Joe Nathan. Wow, it wasn't a closer back then. Mm. Joe Nathan, he, he probably should have got more Hall of Fame um, support, but I think he lasted one year on the ballot. Darren Oliver. Man, he was good. He was he pitched until he was old, wasn't he? Let's let's go to his page. Let's see how old he was. Yeah, 42. He retired in 2013. He was 42. Yep, I thought so. Well, how did these two teams finish in 2009? Let's go see. All right, they lost in the ALCS against the Yankees. Shocker. And the Twins, I'm guessing, didn't make the playoffs with that lineup. Hey, they were 11 games. Oh, ah, completely wrong. I apologize. They finished 11 games over 500 and finished first in the Central. And then they lost to the Yankees because guess what? The Yankees are their daddy. But I apologize. But that was a that's a that is a fun lineup. I mean, Joe Creedy, Justin Morneau, Joe Maurer, Delman Young. He had, he had some power. Um, Carlos Gomez, Jason Kubo, <laughs> Michael Kadire. Yep. Yeah, I apologize for the Twins. They were they were good that year, but they just can never do anything in the playoffs, especially against against the Yankees. Anyway, that was the first edition of Randomness with Baseball Reference, and I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Um, I want to do these like once a week, so let's see what we get next week. Stay tuned.